very basic and common terms hazard and risk you will hear these words you will read these words in any site hsc inspection report in an internal first party second party or even third party audit report today in this training session we will learn what is a hazard and what is risk what is the similarity between these two words and what is the difference firstly i'll start with hazard hazard is a source a situation with the potential for harm in terms of human injury or ill health what is risk risk is the probability that the hazard actually will harm someone risk also includes a consideration of the seriousness of the hazard but remember removing occupational hazards is only one way of improving work protection what is often more practical is the control a management of risks that hazards are posing to understand what is an occupational hazard you have to understand first what is occupational health and safety dear friends and colleagues occupational health and safety is a discipline that aims to provide a safe and healthy environment for workers the goal is to eliminate a control potential workplace hazards in such a way that injury and illnesses are kept to a minimum as we understand basically there are two domains health and safety now let us look what is an occupational hazard an occupational hazard is a thing a situation with the potential to harm a worker but there are two categories safety hazards and health hazards safety concerns unsafe conditions and acts that could cause injury for example slips and falls number 2 health concerns environmental factors that could impair the soundness of body mind and spirit of workers causing illness for example radiation exposure noise that impairs hearing let us understand now what are the health effects from workplace hazard exposure health hazards mostly result from inhalation ingestion injection a contact of harmful substances from excessive noise vibration and temperature exposure etc the effect can be acute from a single high exposure the effect can also be chronic from repeated low level exposure over a prolonged time period occupational exposure limits are established to control worker exposure of a harmful substance or energy to a level that doesn't result in adverse acute or chronic health effects i hope you will remember all three conditions and this is easy to remember acute chronic and the third one occupational exposure hazard limits those are acceptable not harmful dear friends and colleagues you are on the platform of safety first life if you are first time on this channel kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications and if you find the video informative then like comment and share it with your friends and fellows the main topic of today's training session is the types of hazards with examples so without wasting time let's jump on the main topic in the occupational safety and health literature there are six types of hazards 
but now the numbering is increasing. Types of occupational safety and health hazards are number one, safety hazards. Number two, chemical hazards. Number three, physical hazards. Number four, biological hazards. Number five, economic hazards. Number six, environmental hazards. Number seven, violence in the workplace. Number eight, hazardous substances. And number nine, radiation hazards. We'll discuss all categories of hazard one by one. First of all, we'll start with safety hazards. Safety hazards are unsafe workplace conditions. Hazardous physical conditions are circumstances which could directly permit the occurrence of an accident. Unsafe work practices are acts. Violation of noun are accepted safe working procedures which could permit the occurrence of an accident. These all are the different forms or conditions of safety hazards. Let us clarify safety hazards with multiple examples. Number one, unsafe workplace conditions. Number two, unkempt working space. Number three, inadequate warning system. Number four, defective tools and equipment. Number five, inadequate guards or barriers. Number six, poor walking surface. Number seven, inadequate ventilation. Number eight, temperature extreme exposures. Number nine, unsafe work practices are X. Number 10, horseplay. Number 11, not wearing personal protective equipment. Number 12, using defective equipment. Number 13, substandard work practices. Number 14, removing safety devices. Number 15, failure to follow procedures. And number 16, failure to warn others. These all are the examples of safety hazards. You can easily remember few examples. And once you are in an interview or you are attempting a paper, you can give the examples what are the safety hazards. The second type of hazards are chemical hazards. Chemical hazards might be in the form of solids, liquids, vapors, gases, dust, fumes, or mist. Chemicals might be in the shape of flammables, corrosives, toxics, compressed gases, or oxidizers. Remember, chemicals are harmful and it enters the body through inhalation, injection, ingestion, or skin contact. What are physical hazards? The examples of physical hazards are noise, vibration, energy, electricity, radiation, pressure, moving mechanical parts, extreme heat and cold. What are biological hazards? And what are the examples of biological hazards? Bacteria, viruses, fungi, insects, Proteins from animals or substances from plants may cause acute or chronic health effects through inhalation, injection, ingestion, a contact with the skin. The root of the entry for chemical hazards and biological hazards is almost the same. Inhalation, ingestion, skin contact, or injection. Dear friends and fellows, you are on the platform of safety first life if you feel the video is informative then like and share it with your friends and colleagues let us understand now what are the economic hazards economic hazards that arise from interactions between man and his total working environment or working stations economic stress factors deal with workstation equipment tool design and environmental factors in the workplace. Repetitive motions, awkward postures, improper lifting, manual material handling, and excessive forces. Major concerns for ergonomic hazards is repetitive strain injuries, RSI, or 
musculoskeletal disorders. What are environmental hazards? Comfort factors, temperature and humidity, poor indoor air quality, inadequate ventilation, inadequate or excessive illumination. The other examples of environmental hazards are dirty ceiling events, dusty floors, heavy perfumes. Dear friends and colleagues, let us understand what are the examples of hazardous substances. Alkalis, solvents, drugs, detergents, gas cylinders, and refrigerant gases. These all are hazardous substances. What are radiation hazards, electric whirling flashes, sunburn, radio waves, or x-rays? These all are the examples of radiation hazards. Another type or shape of hazards is workplace violence. What is workplace violence? The exercise of physical force by a person against a worker in a workplace that causes a could cause physical injury to the worker an attempt to exercise physical force against a worker in a workplace that could cause physical injury to the worker a statement of behavior that it is reasonable for a worker to interpret as a threat to exercise physical force against the worker in a workplace that could cause physical injury to the worker these all three conditions considered as workplace violence. Remember, everyone should be able to work without fear of violence or harassment in a safe and healthy workplace. Violence and harassment in the workplace should not be tolerated and there should be an action against the violators. Let us discuss now some activities those increase the risk of workplace violence. Number one, handling cash. Number two, protecting or securing valuables. Number three, transporting people and goods. Number four, public or community contact. Number five, working alone or with just a few people. Number six, working late at night or very early morning. If you are the part of such activities, you should be watchful, you should be careful, and there is a chance of workplace violence anytime from any unknown or known person. So stay alert and prepare. Another shape of workplace violence is workplace harassment. Workplace harassment means engaging a course of vexatious comment or conduct against a worker in a workplace that is known or ought reasonably to be known to be unwelcome. Workplace harassment may include bullying, intimidating, or offensive jokes or innuendos, displaying or circulating offensive pictures or materials, or offensive or intimidating phone calls. These all are the examples of different shapes and forms of workplace harassment. Dear friends and colleagues, hazards are everywhere in the workplace. It is not feasible and practicable to remove all the hazards from the work site. But the more feasible and the practical ways to control the hazards and to control the risk to an acceptable level. In the upcoming video, I would like to tell you what are the effects of occupational safety and health hazards on human health. And that's all for today. Training session is over. If you have any question, please ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and share the video. Hope to see you soon with a new HSC tutorial. Till then, take care. Good luck and Allah Hafiz.